Hello, guys. My name is Professor SpongeBob. And my name is Professor Tweety. And we are the people who ask to give you more knowledge. Okay, so today we will be learning about an upright piano action. But before we dive in, we'd just like to say, if you want to learn about the universe, science, mechanisms, physics, and more, please give this video a like and subscribe for more awesome brand new videos. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's start! Yeah, let's start. So, an upright piano action. Wait, before we, before we go, what is an upright piano action? This in front of you. What the? What? what, what? It's like the same thing as a grand piano, but an upright piano. It's not really the same. It has extra parts that the grand piano doesn't have. Maybe we'll talk about the grand piano in another episode. Okay. Didn't we already talk about it? No. Oh. Whatever. Okay. So, here we have an upright piano. Just to tell you, this is what it looks like. Well, it's upright. Its, it's name says so. And it has its keys. And here's one key. Yeah, this is what. This is one key. This is one key! Yes, copy that. Put 87 more of these and you'll have a full keyboard. But just. <sighs> Come on, move on. Okay. So, first of all, we'll talk about the parts of, a, of an opera piano action. So, down here, the very bottom, this is called the balance rail. Above it is the key itself, the white or black part you see here. But, but what's this and this? What? What is this? And this. Well, the bottom one is a part of the balance rail, and the top one is a part of the key. Oh. Okay. Now, if we move on to the key, we'll see this long stick. What is it called? A sticker. C can you stick it on your finger? No, it's just called a sticker. Yeah, its okay. name is a sticker. Okay, so it's called a sticker. If we go up even more, you'll find this weird-looking spoon shape it's called the whippin whippin okay and if you go up even more you'll find this black swirly line jack that is called the jack spring Wait, does a jack have a spring well not the jack from the cards the jack in an action but you can remember it by the cards yes exactly finally you said something smart so, this is called the jack spring. Now, if you go up, if, if you go down again to the whipping, yeah, now go to right, Definitely. you'll find this weird looking line, curvy thing. That's called the damper spoon. Wait, the damper has a spoon? Oh, no. Bigfoot, it's not a spoon. It just. I'll tell you what it does when we take about how all of the things move. Okay, anyways, it's called a damper spoon. Okay. Wow. Now, from the jack spring, if you go up, you'll find this J jack. thing. Now, that is the jack. That's the jack. You can remember it by the same thing. Yes. That is the jack. Remember it as a J. Yeah. Okay, here's the jack. Okay. Now, what is on top of... Next to the jack, this rectangle thing. This it's is called the, the set, set off, off button. button. The set off button. Yeah. Now, if you go back to the whipping, go to the left and go a bit up, you'll find this shape. This shape. It's the 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 thing. long stick that's holding it and that shape are called the back check. Back check. Wait, it checks the back. Well, well, yes, it does. I'll tell you later. Anyways, it's called the back check. Okay. If we go 
next to the back check, you'll find another weird looking shape. This is called the balance hammer. Balance hammer. It's the balance hammer. If we go and we find this weird shape, well, it's called, um, eh, well. Balance hammer, oh yeah. Um, uh, well, I can't, I can't say its name because, um, uh, it's, it's, uh, is... rude. This is a kid's channel, but we'll just show it to you. You already said it. It's not the body part. It's, um, a uh, part of the action. I didn't name it. I didn't name it. It's called like that. Don't mind. That. That. Shh. Okay, so it's called that. Okay, now if we go up, we'll find a stick, and then we complete on going up. We'll find this oval with a stick in it. That is the hammer. Uh, is it a hammer? Well, it acts like a hammer. We'll tell you later. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Now, if we go back to the whipping, whipping, go to the very right, well, we'll find the damper spoon. Okay, that's, that's nice. If we go up, you'll find a stick. We go up. And that's string. No, not yet. No. We, if we go up, we'll find this weird bone-looking thing. Now, like, look, guys, this, this, this curvy thing, like the damper spoon, that is called the damper spring. Wait, the damper also has a spring? So there's a jack spring and a damper spring? Of course. What is this? a spring? A spring, a regular old spring. You can remember it by when it comes to spring. Okay. So, we have the damper spring, and if we complete on going up, we'll find this T-Y looking thing. That is called the damper. The damper. And if we go to it, we'll find this line. Now that is the string. That is the string. These are all the parts. Wait, yeah. there is more, but these are the most important parts. See? Yeah. Okay. Now, let's take about every one of them and how it moves wait 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 every single one yeah wait well what is spring and damper hammer i'll show you one okay now let's take about how the parts move okay now let's take Okay, so, let's think about the balance rail. The balance rail doesn't move, so that's not important. Okay, we have the key. This is the key you see. When you press it, the front of it goes down, but the bottom of it goes up. What's wrong with them today? Nothing. Why do you say this, that... Everyone says that. Okay. But you didn't say this, that. Please, Tweety, stop. Fine, just stop saying it. Okay. Now we know that when we press the key, the front of it goes down and the back of it goes up. And when the back of it goes up... <coughs> excuse me. Just to tell you, the key balances on the balance rail. What does balances mean? Which means it stays nicely. Yeah, okay. It now, when the back of it goes up, the sticker also goes up. Yeah. Which moves the whippin. This is the whippin. Yes, which moves the whippin. And the sticker. And, which makes the jack spring go up, which makes the jack also go up, but the jack hits on the set-off button which makes it stop so it goes to the right and while the jack is pushing is going up it hits the um it hits this part this part which makes it go up 
And also the balance hammer goes up, which makes this stick goes up. Balance No, which makes this stick go to the right, which moves the hammer to the right and it strikes the string, which makes a sound. But wait, we're not done yet. If you want to hit a key fast and fast and fast and fast, the back check is very important for that. Because the back check, when you press a key for a long time, the back check goes, moves to the side, which holds the balance hammer, which, which, well, the hammer... The hammer stays in its spot and doesn't go back to its normal spot because that would just make the key slow at making a sound. Okay, and so the hammer stays. It doesn't really strike the string, but it's pretty close to it, but it doesn't strike it. Okay, and when you leave the key, well, the hammer goes back to its spot. Yeah. Normal spot. Okay, but when you press it for a long time, the back check holds the balance hammer which holds the hammer itself but not close enough to strike the string okay so like if i press any key from this upright piano um it will start to do what spongebob said oh, yes okay now if you go back to the ribbon also here we have the damper spoon it goes up which moves this part and makes it go to the side, which makes the damper also go to the side. But wait, what is the job of the damper? Well, the damper stays on the string, which makes it not vibrate or make a sound when you don't want it to. I mean, imagine a piano making a sound when you don't want it to. Oh, that's, that's creepy. Well, that's why the damper is here. It stays on the hammer and makes it not... Uh, it stays on the string and it doesn't make any sound. But when you do want to sound and you press the key, it, it moves to the, to, the le to the side to help the hammer strike the string and make it do a sound. Bigfoot's sitting on a keyboard right now. Yeah, but not a piano. I mean, it does make... Whatever. Okay, that is... Pretty much it. Yay, we're done. Woo so, so we hope you um, enjoyed the video and, and sorry if it was short. it's not short. So we hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos like this, please give this video a like and subscribe. And if you do want to learn about the universe, mechanism, the body, yes, the body, and physics, and more, like and subscribe for more awesome brand new videos, and subscribe to our channel, because if you do, you are a part of the Stuffy Family! Okay, goodbye! Bye! 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 Hi, I'm the hammer.